Hey guys, welcome back to my studio. This is Dwight with Dwight Pores. How are you on this Monday afternoon? So I'm gonna be working with metallics today. I'm gonna to be doing a dump and swirl on a 24 by 30 canvas. And uh, yeah, let me show you the colors I'm using today. This sort of reddish color here is actually um, Chroma Molten Metal Metallic Acrylics. And this is called Royho Gold. And this gold next to that is again, Chroma Molten Metals, and it is Dorado Gold. And this light sort of creamy gold is Champagne, and that's Folk Art. And last but not least, this is Pearl Copper Gold, and this is Arteza. I was digging through my paints, and I was like, oh, I forgot about that one. That's a good one. I like it. Now over here on the end is my black, which is Artist Loft Acrylic Soft, <laughs> Soft Body, I want to say Acrylic Flow, Soft Body Black. And then the white is going to be sort of the layers in between, and that is a mixture of um, Deco Arts, Dazzling Metallics, White Pearl, and Artist Loft Soft Body White. Now all my paints are mixed one part paint, two to three parts Floetrol, a drizzle of Liquitex pouring medium, and water to thin it out. So what I'm gonna be doing today is this canvas takes 25 ounces to cover, again, just the surface. Now this is inch and a half. So I'm gonna need about close to 30 ounces. So with my paints, these are in four ounce cups. So that's 16 ounces. And then the white is in an eight ounce cup. So that makes 24 ounces. And my black dump paint, that is in a 16 ounce cup. So about 35, 36 ounces, well more than that. Um, I can't do the math real quick, but anyway, yeah. So we're talking 24 and 16, so close to 40 ounces of paint. Now I may not use all the black, um, but it gives me room to dump off the color. Um, so when you're tilting, you don't overstretch it, and I hopefully don't have enough resting on the canvas at the end as well, because then that might create some puddling. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of um, prep the edges just a little bit with a little bit of black. And then, guys, we're going to get started. <music>
Okay guys, here we are with the final wet results. I'm loving it. Wow, it really, it really selled up. Um, those chroma molten metallics, I've not used before in this type of pour, um, but I'm, I'm loving just the way this looks. I love that there's a stark difference between all the cells and the negative space. I'm glad a few more popped up through here. I don't think anything else is really gonna happen. Um, I wish there was a little bit more or a smaller negative space, but that's okay. I still think it looks pretty cool. Um, they move in. And just show you the details. This is what I think is really fascinating. When you look at all the cells and you see that sort of rojo gold, that little flower right there. <laughs> And just, just how these cells look, I mean, they look fascinating. Yeah, I can, you can tell it's, it's starting to dry on the edges already, as you can, where's my finger? Yep, whoop, there it is. So that's, that's good. Um, I, you know, I've not used light colors like this, and I, and I think sort of the earth tones of this make it look really pretty cool. Now, if it stays like this, that's awesome. I still may go in and do some touch-ups as always. Um, and that's just usually just around the perimeter with some of the cells. Um, I may clean up this little area down here. I'm not quite sure what I'll do, or I may just leave it alone. If you guys have any thoughts on that, please feel free to let me know. Yeah, awesome, awesome. And I'll probably just leave the edge the way it is. I usually don't like the edge with sort of how it, you know, like water falls over. But if I take that out, then I, I risk losing some of these cells or them looking kind of awkward. So I'm just gonna leave that those in. I think it sort of frames the rest of this as well. Awesome, cool. Well, that just makes me think I'm going to use some of that champagne color again. Um, yeah, and some of this Royal Gold. It's got me thinking. Okay, guys, you have a good rest of the day. We'll see you later this week. Take care.